Welcome to Tutorial Tuesday, people. Today we're going to be decoupaging a napkin onto some fabric. Let's run down what we're going to need. We're going to need some fabric medium. I'm going to use Mod Podge because Mod Podge is my jam. And I will let y'all know, this is thick. Like, it is way thicker than the regular Mod Podge. Let me just show you that real quick. So here's this. I've only used this, like, once, but... This is like a thick chalk paint. You know what I'm saying? Like this is not, it is not even shaking it. Like it's not really coming out very quickly. And then we have, you know, our regular Mod Podge that if you just kind of tilt this upside down, oh, the bottle's halfway empty. Of course it would be. <laughs> Of course it would be halfway empty, the one that I'm trying to use to share with you. Okay, we got this one. Here's the dishwasher safe joint. Look at that. Look how quick. Look at it. It's like freedom and trying to get it out of there. It's really quick. So the difference between the, you know, the mediums and their thickness, it's a huge difference with this. I was asked several times to do a lamp shade, okay? And I, I was asked to do... Uh, jean fabric. I was asked to do, um, I forget what the other fabric was. I'm drawing a blank here. Forgive me. What I'm going to do <laughs> is none of that. We're going to decoupage on a bag. Oh, I don't like that view. Hold on a minute. People, I can, <laughs> I cannot make this up. The tripod just broke on me. And then I have part of another one. Hopefully I can, I don't know, duct tape these together. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. Let me try and figure something out. <laughs> Lucky for me, I use the same tripod, so the, I just switch it. Anyhow, back to what we need. You're going to need your fabric. Oh, and I remember what the other thing was, a pillowcase. I was asked to do a pillowcase. But these are Target. They're like a couple bucks, $3. You can find them in the Bullseye Playground. Nothing fancy smancy. The reason I wanted to use one of these over the other fabric bags you can get at like Dollar Tree and Walmart is it's more white and I really didn't want to have to use fabric paint. I want it to keep this really simple. So I want it, the background as white as I could oh. instead of having a yellow tone and then having a paint, you know, the whole thing. This is just for me, a better color for a base start to a fabric decoupage. Next thing you're going to need is a piece of cardboard because we're going to want to shove that in whatever we're decoupaging. This is just going to give us a nice base. It's also going to stop any of that extra medium from going through our fabric onto the another, to the other, onto the another, another, onto the other part of our fabric. So make sure it's all flattened out. If you want, go ahead and iron this as well before you obviously put the cardboard in there. Go ahead and iron this as well to make sure it's all nice and flat. I'm really happy with how this is, so I'm just going to leave it. Next, you're going to need a soft brush. And you want something really soft because you're going to want to kind of get in here with your fabric. These are actually my furniture paint brushes. I do not use these for Mod Podge. I'm going to have to clean these really well, but I wanted a big one because I'm doing the whole piece they're zebra brushes. You can pick these up at Home Depot. They are a little on the pricey side, but I just really like how they work when I'm painting my furniture and things like that. I don't bring these out for crafts, like never. Then you're gonna need your napkin. So I wanted to give you guys the most difficult project that I possibly could. I'm just kidding. I wanted to give you guys kind of all the options that you possibly could have with this. So we're going to actually rip up two napkins and blend them to make them look like one big pictured canvas on this piece. I've had a lot of people recently ask, and I've also had people tell me that they've used presses to get these little pieces out. I don't have a shirt press or anything like that. If I want to use the whole print on a napkin, I really just iron around and it will, you know, flatten these out. So we're going to do that just so I have more to use with this piece. I want to cover as much of it as possible. And here is, and I do not have these for sale yet on my website. If you hang out with me on my browsing channel. I talk about this all the time. I just got a bunch of napkins last month. So I am a little behind <laughs> 
with um, getting extra napkins up, but here is, and I love this one because it's like, you're getting four pieces for one. So really love this one when I picked it up, but we're going to do us a little, you know, a little nautical piece here for this bag. Now it's time for my little repetitive spiel. I like to remind everyone who tunes into these tutorials that these are meant to be slowed way down. I film as I go and I talk as I'm doing things, whether I'm trying something for the first time that is brand new or giving you my overall experience on something that I am familiar with. These are highly requested for me to just go step by step and give you all the information that I have available to you to be able to accomplish whatever we're working on in this project. With that being said, let's go ahead and get this napkin on this bag. I wanted to just give you guys all the options you could with this video. So this way you see, you don't just have to use one napkin. And if you want to be really creative and make something unique to fit a design or an idea that you have, you can take several napkins and blend it together. Now we're going to iron this and then we're going to get some water because we're going to rip this up a little bit. Now I've ironed these before. Like I said, I've never used a press. I had somebody say use a press. Um, and then I've had, I don't know, like a hundred or more <laughs> say I need a stronger iron. Why y'all hating on my baby iron? Y'all so mean. I'm just kidding. I am going to get a bigger iron though, because I want to give you guys an exact temperature that I feel works really well for the Mod Podge. And I flipped it over and I'm going over the back of it too. This is just, you know, because I just want to make sure that all my T's are, you know, and I's are dot, all the things. Okay. Here is the final result. You can see that they have really flattened out compared to that. So there's, there's this, ta-da, there's that. Okay, so it's definitely way, way flatter. And people, real quick before we get started, I am super excited. I have something to share with you. This portion of the video is sponsored by FlexiSpot. People, you always hear me talk about this flimsy table that I film on. That's right, I make all my DIYs on this thing. It is not stable. It does not even have a hard top. So when FlexiSpot asked me to partner with them and they were gonna send me their Pro Plus Standing Desk E7, I was so excited. These desks come in different sizes, different colors, different designs. I got the 48 by 24 bamboo top with the black base. Assembly was really straightforward. It took about 30 to 45 minutes. The piece is a little heavy, so you'll need someone to help you pick it up. But honestly, it just made it even more sturdy in my opinion, whether it was on the carpet or down on the tile, the piece was not moving. I cannot even stress how amazing this drawer just glides open and shut. And the buttons are so easy. I love pushing buttons. <laughs> They're just so easy to use. Whether you're putting it in a standing position like this or you're putting it down so you can sit, it is so user friendly. And you guys, I struggle with degenerative disc disease. So I'm in pain constantly and it is going to completely change my life having this desk being able to stand or sit according to my pain levels and what I'm comfortable with that day. I'm just so grateful for this desk. And people, it also has a 30 day risk free return policy and a 15 year warranty. Links are down in the description box. Go check out yours now. And for this part, you can do one of two things. I'm gonna do both actually. You can use some water with a paintbrush to kind of get you some natural lines, some breakage from the napkin, or you can just tear it. I'm just gonna kind of go like this along the sides, and then I'm going to do a little bit differently with the center. I moved the bag because I'm not trying to get that all wet since I'm gonna use this right here. We're gonna just go around our decorative piece that we want and use the water. And in case you're wondering like why I'm doing a lot of tearing, why aren't I just, why am I not just leaving them straight? It's in my opinion that everything when you're blending a napkin or you're blending it to a piece of furniture or a craft, it just looks better having the edges frayed 
if you're blending it into another thing. But if you want to leave yours on there, your sharp edges, you go right ahead. And I don't remember if I said this before or not, but just in case I didn't, the reason we removed this is so that way, once we have this decoupage on here, this pattern does not show through here. But we have this trim just enough that it's going to actually blend into our edges once this is on here so it looks like one big piece you guys do not have to do this part but i'm actually going to take and pour what in the, i'm actually going to take and pour some of this into this bowl here and this is really so i can dip my zebra brush in here because like i said they're my special brushes <laughs> here's a nice close-up of the look at this stuff this is super thick and we're going to be lathering this up as we go i'm not going to say less is more here okay but we are going to make sure that this is little by little i'm not going to do the whole thing and then attach it i'm just going to feel fuzzier inside doing section by section and i'm going to start right here once you have a nice little layer going on there you can take your cling wrap i would not recommend using the sponge for this i know right i'm saying that i would not recommend using the sponge for this because you don't want to sop up any extra mod podge you actually want as much mod podge as possible on and in this napkin once you got your first layer on there just kind of flip it back and then start peeling down and I do this basically whenever I'm doing any of my projects. I'll get one section one and then peel down. And for this, um, since it has a O or circle in the center, I'm just going to kind of get us a nice little amount on both sections going along the sides. <laughs> A little tip before we get started with the next one I will show you see there's a little rip oops <laughs> you couldn't see there's a little rip right there that's because the cling wrap that I was using got crusty that fast like it got hard from the extra product so I just threw that away and I'm gonna get another one before I start our center since our center right here is pretty large I'm just gonna start from the top and be mindful because again there is another napkin going on here gonna kind of start from the top and then work my way down into the bottom of this little section right here and my fingers are so crispy make sure that you're slightly since you're if you're blending if you're not blending a napkin don't worry about this part but if you are make sure you're slightly going over the edges that you have the napkins so this way it's going to just connect really well all right my people here we go put those right on the edge and i'm just gonna kind of tapity tap a little bit with my finger oops and then we're gonna bring it on down this is extremely wet you're going to want to let this dry however long that takes the bottle recommends two hours before you go over and seal it so i'm going to let this sit here for two hours and we're going to check back and see how wonderful this is at that point in time and go over it with our it's been over two hours and it's actually still wet but I'm gonna go ahead and seal over it and see what happens since it recommends sealing within two hours or after two hours and see how I feel about that. So there are some sections that still aren't completely dry, but I do want to watch this. Like there's no cracking or anything going on with this and oh my gosh. And it's not even all the way, like I said, there's a couple little sections. It's not even all the way dry, but look at that. 
Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, people. Let me know in the comments below if you have any intentions of decoupaging a napkin onto some fabric. And don't forget to check out the links in the description box for Flexi Spot. As always, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And until next time, bye!